101, Karen Algersma at the Art Gallery of Greater Victoria in Rockland, and you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, the 411 on St. John's Ambulance, and we meet a little angel whose courage is awe-inspiring, and Dan Kahn chats with an award-winning magician. All that and so much more on Go Island. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Hello, thank you so much for joining us on Go Island. I am so excited about the show today, and you should be too, because we are at the Art Gallery of Greater Victoria. And here's my first question for everyone, Robert Amos. Have you all been here? Have you been here? Now here's my second question. Have you been here lately? Have you been here lately? How much is going on right now? You need to come here uh, frequently, constantly, at least every week. Yes! This, the exhibitions change and change in this building. Uh, they have immense resources. I believe I've seen every exhibition in this building since 1975. So let's begin with the exhibit that's happening right around us here. Robert Amos, who is the curator of this particular exhibit. You got it. Tell us what, what's going on. Well, in uh, the late 1970s, I used to work here at the gallery. And uh, in 1978, a huge collection came in, the estate of Harold and Vera Mortimer Lamb. And uh, the material arrived in a big moving van. It was all over the building. I had to write a story about it for the gallery's magazine. And I became interested. And there it was, 1978, I decided I need to learn about Harold and Vera Mortimer Lamb. I need to write a book about them. I need to gather all the original artwork that I want to have in the book and hang it up as an exhibition so that other people can see and share my uh, unbridled enthusiasm. So as you walk through this particular exhibit, you are walking through a dream come true. It is. This is a dream come true for you. Uh, uh, not just my dream. I'm sure it was the dream of Harold and yeah. Vera Mortimer be Lamb sure, too. Of course. Mortimer Lamb lived to be 99, and he was a man of many parts in the art world. He was a phot artistic photographer. He was an art collector. He was a great friend and patron of the arts. And in his 80s and 90s, he became a painter. Tell us about some of the, the key um, things that people will enjoy and should look for as they walk through here. Well, there's far too much to tell. You can read it in the book, but uh, I will uh, say this. The first part of the show is dedicated to Mortimer Lamb as a photographer. He lived in Victoria between 1895 and 1905, and he began photographing in a very soft focus, artistic way all the important people in the community and in his life. But the, the sexy art lover, fabulous oil painting part of the show, which is right in the middle, uh, involves a woman named Vera Ogilvy Weatherby. She was 18 years old, a student at the Vancouver School of Art, when Fred Varley of the Group of Seven, it's his portrait there, uh, came to Vancouver to be the art teacher. He was uh, 42 years old, wife and four children, who he ignored and made a nuisance of himself and drew out this incredibly beautiful art student, Vera. He painted a number of pictures of her. Uh, some of them I would consider the most important paintings in the whole of Canadian art history. You're kidding and me! They are here on loan from the National Gallery uh, in this show. Mortimer Lamb eventually married Vera. You're kidding me. And not only that, he was 70 years old at the time and she was just 30. That is, that is what movies are made of. The gallery has accessioned 192 artworks wow. from him. That's a very large number of donations, yeah. as well as all of his photographs, all of his papers, and he gave the gallery $110,000 for the purchase of art. And those are the only funds the gallery has for the purchase of art. There you go, uh, what a gift. He lived, as I say, to be 99. Vera and Harold were 28 wow. years together. Wow. And, uh, That's amazing. It's, it's an incredible love story. Have you ever thought to yourself, what would I do 
if the person standing next to me had a heart attack or um, started choking on something, would you know what to do? Well, Paul Ballstein met with St. John's Ambulance to find out the 411 on the training that goes uh, into getting people ready, getting their first aid and, and being part of the whole St. John's Ambulance uh, community. It's a huge community, very cool story. No, I'm not a private eye. I'm just getting up close and personal with uh, some of the amazing art that's here at the Art Gallery of Greater Victoria. I'm always um, so surprised at every time I come to the Art Gallery, there's a new exhibit going on. It's always rotating and changing. And the best part for me is the stories behind the exhibits. Uh, Barry, tell us a little bit about this particular exhibit uh, that's happening right now at the gallery. Well, uh, it's an exhibit which is very eclectic because we're showing uh, basically what we've received in the last five years so it's not really following one theme we've yep. got a lot of Japanese prints paintings the little uh, uh, sculptures you saw there are called Netsuke, the little toggles that people wear on their belt. Your Asian collection, how big is it? It's about uh, eight to 9,000 pieces. It's about 42, 43% of the entire collection of the art gallery. Unbelievable. And one of the things that, um, I, that Barry's been teaching me, just in the few minutes that I've been looking around, is there's so much you can learn when you, when you walk around. Like we were looking at this piece and you were saying that this is a great example of how uh, the Japanese Japanese often did do art. They would take apart things you could see inside the boat, see inside the house. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, they're miles ahead of us when it came to uh, illustrating things. As you, everybody knows, the manga uh, are very detailed. They, if they wanted to show a, a scene inside a house, they would take off the roof so you could see the story inside. Mm -hmm. In this particular case, uh, they're looking at a German uh, warship that has come uh, into the into port, and they've taken the side off so you can see what it's made of, what it's like. Because the Japanese at this time had uh, largely closed off Japan from the rest of the world and they fell behind and when these big warships showed up they had no choice but to open up their country. See art it has war it has opium it has history it has history yeah. that's why it's so great to come here we're gonna continue to show you some of the really amazing things that are happening right now but we have to take a very short break but stay with us because when we come back we have an inspiring story of a young boy who has more courage than I know I have and we are also going to continue to hang out here at the Art Gallery of Greater Victoria. Welcome back to Go Island. I am losing myself here. I'm actually forgetting that I'm supposed to be working. Why? Because I'm at the Art Gallery of Greater Victoria. There are so many wonderful exhibits happening right now. It is just like, it's like Christmas here. You walk into another room and you're like, wow. And you walk into this room, wow, Rembrandt, who is um, one of my favorite artists. Um, uh, it's maybe because I studied art history at university and Rembrandt was one of the artists we studied. And maybe it's because I married a Dutchman. I don't know, but I love Rembrandt, but this is a very unique exhibit. Tell us a little bit about um, what makes this so special. Well, I love Rembrandt too, and I was um, pretty thrilled uh, as, as a new employee here at the Art Gallery of Greater Victoria to find out that we had a number of Rembrandt etchings in the collection. And so I wanted to include them in a little exhibition, and I was tr trying to explore how to do that, and I, I just started to look at the other etchings that we had in the collection and realized that we could really tell a story about Rembrandt's legacy and his influence on um, many generations of printmakers that followed him. But the interesting thing I think that ties this exhibition together is that in looking for a title for the show, um, I often just start Googling and I was Googling the word etching. And this phrase came up um, online, winter is an etching. And it seemed like the perfect phrase with which to title a show that was going to open here at the gallery in December. And it turns out that the phrase, it's the first few words of a very short poem that goes, um, winter is an etching, spring a watercolor, summer an oil painting, and autumn a mosaic of them all. Very touching poem. That Goosebumps! 
Wow. That was written by a man named Stanley Horowitz. The amazing thing is that Stanley Horowitz, the poet, has gotten in touch with me. He found out about the exhibition um, online and is, what is thrilled. It about this gallery? <laughs> I, could, I could write like 10 movies after like spending 45 minutes here. You guys are, you guys just attract all this incredible karma. I think it's, I, you know, I think it's, um, the fact that we approach making exhibitions as um, an exercise in telling stories and people really respond to that aspect of storytelling, it's a really good way to engage people with visual art. Well, we love to engage our viewers with our version of storytelling and our very own talented storyteller, Sacheta Singh, met with a very brave young boy. Don't forget, on January 25th and 26th is our Variety Club of Hearts Telethon. Shaw TV and Global TV, together with you, are going to raise lots of money all across British Columbia so that we can help children like Angel. Um, we have to take a very short break, but stay with us. Why, you ask? Well, I'll tell you why. Because Dan Khan has a magic trick or two up his sleeve with a story just for you. And we're going to tell you what's going to be happening just a few days right here at the Art Gallery of Greater Victoria. Welcome back to Go Island. Can you guess where I am? I'm at an art gallery. Yes, the Art Gallery of Greater Victoria. This is such a cool place. There's, every time you turn the corner, it's either a new exhibit or a funky, uh, you know, place to look. And I just love, I love this room. Just to tell people where we are, all those who have never been here, and this is what you're going to do in 2014. You're going to visit the art gallery. Uh, where are we right now? We're in what we call the mansion, which is um, a heritage house, which was the first home of the art gallery. It was donated by Sarah Spencer, specifically to house the first uh, first exhibitions and collections of the art gallery. The exhibit that's going to be opening on the 24th, is that right, of January? The opening event is Friday uh, evening, mm -hmm. 24th of January. First day that the exhibition is open to the public is January 25th. And tell us a little bit about it. It's a, a career retrospective of um, local artist Carol Sa Sabiston. Um, the show is called Carol Sabiston, Everything Below, All of the Above, and it brings together her uh, textile work, for which she is world famous. World famous. Um, and it brings together works from the 70s to very recent things that she just finished. Oh my gosh. End of last year. So, um, it's a, a beautiful array of remarkable work by um, a remarkable local talent. Oh my gosh, so much to see here. Um, now, we do have incredible talent here, talent that starts very young. In fact, our very own Dan Khan met a magician that just won an award in Vegas and he can't even drink yet. Uh, I love this story so much and I only have one thing to say to introduce it. Ta-da! Are you looking for a cure for the winter blues? Go no farther than the Art Gallery of Greater Victoria. As soon as you walk through those doors, you can lose yourself in a world that uh, is far, far away. It's enchanting. It's filled with beautiful stories. It's magical. And it's right here in your own backyard. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Women's clothing provided by Tulip Noir. Casual designer fashions. Men's wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co. Menswear and accessories. Hair services provided by Salon J.